Hey guys, it's Alex Allgood from Pro Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this fancy, dancy, swirly intro in Sony Vegas. Uh, let's check it out. So that was pretty rad. Uh, here I am in Sony Vegas Pro 9. Um, if you have Movie Studio, this should work for you as well. Uh, all Vegas users unite in the swirly fancy Nancy intro. Okay, that was kind of nerdy. Uh, we're going to click new. Don't want to save anything because we're just going to make it again. So here we are, brand new comp in uh, Sony Vegas. Now, first thing we're going to do is go to browproductions.net. Go to the downloads page and download the Swirl 2 stock footage video. Um, once you go to Broad Productions, you'll see links on haul how to get it. Um, just go to broadproductions.net, uh, which is our website. Pretty fancy dancy. Uh, but I have it downloaded right here on my desktop with all my other crap. Here it is. Swirl 2 Broad Productions stock footage. And we will drag that into Sony Vegas. And here we are. This cool little swirly thing, uh, custom made, all royalty free, so you can use it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do once we have this in is obviously let's make our text. Uh, oh, we're going to go to insert text media, and then it uh, <clears throat> automatically puts it on the layer we have selected, which was the wrong one, so we're just going to drag it up. Or uh, if you don't have a video layer already right there, you can drag down, which makes new ones, like so. Lots and lots of video layers. We'll get those out of our way by hitting Control Z, which is undo on the keyboard. Um, oh, that's out of the frame. And we're going to type in what we want, maybe our clan name, uh, gaming clan, you know, whatever you want for it to say. Um, and then we'll select our text. Oop, a little clumsy today. Um, I use the text. Hera Bera, I guess you would pronounce it that way. You can find it at uh, websites like defont.com, uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's got a lot, like thousands and thousands of free texts. I actually made another tutorial on how to download text to Sony Vegas and the other program in Windows. So uh, just search for that. But um, that's not the point. The point is we're making an awesome intro. Um, so I'm rambling way too much. Uh, we're going to change it to black. By just going to the properties tab and scrolling down from black on the color spectrum. And then we will get the text and drag it out to the same size as our swirl stock footage. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, then let's go to insert video track again. Um, we're going to select the Bra Productions, click copy, and paste it on our new one. Uh, we want to create a new copy because a reference copy will mimic anything we do with this one so they're basically the same uh, we don't want that because we want them to be different it's the point we're copying it um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to have one layer the visible layer and the second layer is going to be a shadow because we can originally make a shadow on one layer but that shadow will show up in these black areas and the point is we only see the text when the swirl is uh, shown behind it so how we're going to do that is we're going to go to the Generated Media tab for the bottom text. We're going to go to Properties, and this little checkered board thing, we're going to drag all the way down, which makes it transparent, um, which is what we want. And then we'll go to Effects, drag this down so we can see our preview window. We'll go to Shadow, and click Draw Shadow. Now, this is where you can customize it to the shadow you want. I would say put it at around half around uh, 0 0.5 um, and then it is a little dark so we can click this tab and make it kind of like a darkish gray just so it's not so harsh you still want to be able to read the bra productions without having this um, feathery mess behind it um, <clears throat> so we'll close out of that and then let's play it from the beginning and see how it looks oh you can see a little shadow right there so we will clip this and fade it in and click go. Oh man. Check it out. Looking pretty fancy. Um, you can uh, you can adjust the text size to maybe be a little bit smaller so it fits in the solid white part. 
Um, but for our situation, what we're going to do is we're going to fade in, or fade out rather, the swirl from about ha the halfway point at about uh, six seconds or so. Um, and then we're going to go to transitions and do a hard flash. And since our, uh, our text layer is above it, you'll still see the text when it goes. So it'll flash to white. You can visibly see what your text is. And then it'll all fade away. Like so. Oh, maybe. Ooh. And then you see the text fades away. <clears throat> and that's about it, guys. Uh, you know, add in your own music. The music I used for the preview was from videocopilot.net's uh, product called Pro Scores. It's great. That's what I use most of my uh, intro soundtracks for. Um, so go to the website, get that, and then uh, again, you get this uh, stock footage at broadproductions.net for free. Um, just go to the downloads page. You have to become a member. It's fast, easy, and free. Um, I'll just spam your email with uh, stuff about Broad Productions. So, you know, only one downside, but, you know, better than none. Just kidding. I won't do that. Uh, maybe. So, everyone, have a great day. Remember to post a video response of uh, any videos you use this tutorial for. And, yeah, leave a comment below. Tell me how you liked it.